to run a GUI in the open on demand portal, you need to use VGL run. This gives you a graphical interface to set up Gatsby calculations. If you already have a coordinate file, PDB file, you can open it using the file open. If you don't, you can draw your molecule using the periodic table, selecting what kind of hybridization you want. We're just going to do carbon sp3 to get methane. We're going to add on to make it an alcohol. We use oxygen, sp3. Click on one of the hydrogens and it will replace it. There are also R group fragments that you can draw with. If you wanted to add on, you click on the hydrogen and it adds on the fragment. I'm going to undo that with Control Z. We also have ring fragments that are available in a GUI to use. Now that we have the molecule, if we wanted to manipulate the structure, we could do that with one of these manipulation tools, modify bond, modify angle, modify torsion. If you want to measure distances, you can do it with the inquire. So for example, with a bond, you click on the two atoms, and it gives you the option for the slider, or you can type it in to change the bond distance. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. Here's the angle tool. Click on three atoms, and then you can modify the angle. In the torsion, rotation about a central bond, click on four atoms, where the two center atoms are about the bond that you want to rotate, and that lets you do rotation about that bond. Okay, so it's like you If you do inquire and you click on the two atoms, it will give you the bond distance. Click on the background and it will go back to normal. That gives me the distance between the oxygen and the hydrogen. This is unoptimized. This is my drawing. And then if I click on a third one, it gives me an angle. And if I click on the fourth atom, it gives me the diameter. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set up a calculation now. Calculate, Gaussian calculation setup. My job type, energy calculation, will just give you the energy of the system and not optimize the geometry. An optimization will change the coordinates to try to lower the energy of the system to the closest minimum. Frequency calculation will calculate the vibrational modes. Opt plus FOAQ will optimize the geometry and then calculate the vibrations and thermal chemistry. So we're going to do opt plus FOAQ. You'll notice I have an opt and FOAQ keyword on my route line, the keyword line. Method, we're going to do DFT. B3lib is the default. You can change it to another functional. If the functional that you want to use is not listed, you would just choose one and then modify it in the input file. I'm going to leave it at B3lib. And the basis sets, lots of basis sets available in here, lots more available in Gaussian. So if your basis set is not listed, you would just modify it in the input file. So I'm going to specify the pulp of triple zeta basis set. Add on diffuse functions on all atoms, add a D and a P. Okay. 6311 plus plus G D comma P is equivalent to 6311 plus plus G double star. If I wanted to change the charge, I would change it here. My overall charge for methanol is zero, there's no charge, and my spin state is a singlet, no impaired electron. This is just a title, descriptive title. You try to stay away from special characters. does not affect the calculation. It's just like recording information about what you're doing. Generally, you won't change anything in link zero. In the general tab, you should click on additional print. That's the P after this pound on the route line. I like to turn off write connectivity and write PDB data. It's makes the input file cleaner. Okay, so unless you have a reason to leave them on, you should turn those two things off. And then I click retain. Now I need to save the input file. So you need to make sure that it's set to Gaussian input file format and that you're writing in a directory that you own, like your home directory, and then you need to give it a descriptive name.
So I'm just going to call it methanol-op-freq. So you can use dashes or you can use underscores, but you want to stay away from any other special characters. No spaces, um, no other non-standard characters, just standard alphanumerics. Okay, now this says open, but it actually means save. So save. Okay, so now I should have saved my input file. I'm going to minimize this. Make sure that I'm in my home directory because that's where I saved it. And I'm going to look at the contents of the file using BI. I think that's where I saved it. There we go, that's right. Get rid of the colors because it's hard to see. All right, so all that pointing and clicking, this is what it made. Percent check equals file name.chk. This file, this checkpoint file, is a file that's going to be created by Gaussian. It's a binary file. It contains the information about the calculation when it's done. This is the route line. This is my additional printing. I'm going to do an optimization followed by a frequency calculation. This is my level of theory and my basis set. Blank line, title, blank line, charge, multiplicity, and my coordinates, and a blank line at the end. Okay, so this is a standard Gaussian input file. Now I want to submit this to the queuing system, so I'm going to type qprep, which is just a script to generate a job file that gets submitted to the queuing system for you. And I pass it my input file name. And it says, Warning, warning, the default has changed to Gaussian 16 because we just switched from 09 to 16. If you need to use Gaussian 09, you use the dash G09 flag with QPrep. Do I want to submit my job? Yes. And now it's been submitted to the queuing system. But you'll notice right now that it's in the queued state. So this is my job. This is the queued state. This one is the open on-demand portal that I'm running right now. So if I type Q again, it changes from queued to running. If I want to follow the job, the log file, I can tail dash F. And the log file name. Okay. And this is the text that's being sent to the log file while the calculation is running. You do not want to open the log file with a graphical text editor while the calculation is running because the graphical text editors want to update every time new information comes along. When you see normal termination of Gaussian 16, that means the calculation has finished properly to Gaussian standards. Control C gets you out of tail-f. 